Hello, knife people. I was gifted this knife. It's a hunting knife. Zebra wood and uh, mosaic pins. I think there is no gap between the scales and the tan. Pretty well done. Uh, handle. Homemade handle. Look at this contour. Tapering thinner to the blade. For my side holding. It's a short knife, three and a half inch blade, Jantz blade, and homemade handle. This berry curvature is just good for this blade length. At a high angle, slow, getting back straps. Very good handle. But maybe you can see some surface peeling out is repaired with a groove or such here too. Peeling of portion is repair. I don't care about these four at all. I do care about its adhesion sticking to the tan. I don't like the peeled off scales. I twice experienced the peeled off scales. Once without a Without a pin knife, twice, curry birch scales. Curry birch is prone to bending. It's not a hard wood. It's a good handle. Mm, very good. And inside holding, too. Very good. Anyway. Mm. It's not a convex bevel, flat bevel, and I haven't yet uh, made my own convex edge on it. It now has a factory made, mm. very very dull edge, no edge, no sharp at all. It's a factory product knife, Park Weaver. SS Gani This uh, scale adhesion to the tan is perfect No problem at all It's a factory made Complete perfect handle Nineteen C twenty seven It's a homemade handle. I was gifted this knife from my friend. A very beautiful handle. But if you watch carefully, you can see a tiny, tiny gap between a liner, this side liner, and the pan. It's a gap. You can see 
epoxy kind of mm, you know clear bubbly this black layer is epoxy and a bit gap you can see and this side wood I don't care about this floor because it's a gift knife it's adhesion to the tongue it's perfect but it has some flaws like this scratches filled with uh, shallow scratches filled with epoxy this is gabuko knife tongue and uh, liner adhesion this portion is perfect from here orange uh, colored epoxy is fitting the gap completely fitting and you can see the cause of this uh, epoxy fitting it scratches and uh, deeper portion on the liner side is filled with the orange uh, colored glue epoxy glue and here perfect adhesion it's a gabuko flow anyhow i don't care about these flows because it's not the incomplete adhesion just scratches on its surface and i didn't pay the money for this knife at all it's a trade knife but a person who paid for this knife might have had a complaint on these flaws and he might have offered this knife for the trade I don't know however as a setting knife this flow will not be acceptable anyhow I'd like to compare the edge potential test in wood cutting this edge angle is the smallest it's intermediate and its angle is the largest but every single knife is scary sharp mm. I have a paper here CKC thrive like this Gabuko custom like this mm. Bark River Gani like this Geometry is different. Shallow, intermediate, deep. It will have the strongest wood splitting, destroying power. It is the sharpest, but it is the thinnest. How they compare? Very interesting for us. Gani. It's a pretty soft pinewood gunny. Gabuko knife. Mm. And 
だカイリーナイフ、うん、Any difference? No difference at all So first OK ガブコナイフ、うん、タイマーオンわお This chimping is painful. I personally don't need this chimping. This jimping is aching. I need to grind off its sharp edge. Absolutely. Gani. I changed angle to remove the fragments. I know this movement is no good, but I need to do it. You know, this my side cutting, pulling is no good, dangerous. So just Deep and remove the fragments. It's a slow cutter against my expectation. Okay. Last. Kylie knife. Thickest knife. Good destroying. In case of this soft wood, along with its grain,
this wood spritz and the handle is the most suitable for this job kind of hand feeling I think this knife is the fastest the most powerful I feel one sixteen hmm. as I assume this was the most powerful knife. Not a big problem at all. And 690 Not a big problem. Sandvik 19C27. American 154CM. No problem at all. This knife is the sharpest knife. Gabuko knife. This geometry has less wood destroying power, but this is the sharpest knife. Maybe it will make a great skinning knife. This thinness and this continuous belly. Very good skinning knife. It's a good slicer. Okay. This is the wood cut test. Finished. Thank you for watching. See you. Bye bye.